Today I want to show you how to set up your Apache Solar search engine, configure it so that you can add your own custom advanced search capabilities. Stuff like full text search and auto suggest and language customization, dictionaries, and so much more. There's a lot of power behind solar that powers a lot of cool site searches around the world. And I want to show you how to do that in the cloud with the Apache Solar Operator on Red Hat OpenShift Local. Let's get started. I'll show you my Red Hat OpenShift Local environment. In the terminal, I type CRC start. And this shows me the URL to my console. So I can plug that in here. And in a previous video, we set up Apache Solar. So we are going to pause the configuration of Solar in Argo CD. Argo CD manages the GitOps, and any changes you make to the Solar configs, it'll be immediately reverted back to the way it's supposed to be, because that's what Argo CD does. So I'm going to go to the networking routes for Argo CD namespace, and this shows me my Argo CD server. Also, I want to go back to the route for Apache Solar and pull that up too. So you can see here that in our Zookeeper cloud configs, we have one default config set. We're going to add a new one called Computate that I've used for many years that I love. So we need to configure Argo CD so that it stops managing the solar operator and Apache Solar. So what I do is I go to solar operator, I go to this info button, and at the bottom, I disable auto sync. Okay. Next, we go to the solar application do the same thing, click on the info button and disable auto sync. Now we need to also go to workloads, deployments in the solar namespace. And this solar operator is what uh, enforces changes on something else, which is the stateful set default solar cloud. Because for a brief moment, we are going to configure a, a new volume mount that'll mount our computate config set temporarily so that we can upload it to Zookeeper. In the pod. So what we do is go to the solar operator deployment and scale down the pod so that it won't make any changes to our stateful set and revert it back. Now we can go into the YAML of the stateful set and in spec template spec containers, volume mounts, we will add a volume mount here with the name of computate config set and a, and a mount path of slash opt slash solar slash server slash solar slash config sets slash computate slash comp. Now, where did this come from? If we pull up the pods for this default solar cloud, we go to the terminal, we'll type in bash, and then ls space dash ld space, and paste that in. It says no such file or directory. 
But if we take off computate slash conf, you'll see that there are there is a directory for config sets and it contains a default config set that we used earlier and a sample of tech products configs. We want a new one called computate in there. And we already created the config set for that. So we will continue editing this. We have the mount path. Now I just need to add a volume here. with the name of computate-config set config map default mode 440 and name computate-config set and that should do it. So I save this stateful set and reload, make sure that it didn't get reverted. It's still there. There's our volume and our volume mount here. So that's good. Now this pod didn't delete because it's a stateful set. We will delete the pod and then it'll come right back. But this time, if you look down here, you'll see that we do have our computate config set. Cool. And if I go to the terminal and I do ls and paste that in, that's all the configs we needed right there. So this is exciting. We we are ready to upload the config set. And it's actually really easy to do because I've automated it with Ansible. Check out github.com slash computate-org smarta by our smart village. And you'll see in, in OpenShift Ansible this solar config collection yaml. So I cd into dot home slash dot local src smart by our smart village and run ansible playbook openshift ansible solar config collection. Now this is going to fail because we need to provide it with a token. And so it, it actually gave us an error here. Missing variables, Red Hat OpenShift host and Red Hat OpenShift token. Find the login command to OpenShift and set these variables. So really all we need is the token one because the other one is the default. So we put that in, we go to our OpenShift environment, we grab a new token for kubeadmin. Here's the token. So I put that right there, and then this will run. Now let's make sure this looks good. It should say uploading this config set for com config computate to zookeeper at this address, the zookeeper address. Good. And then this one will say created collection, smart type AR smart village with one shard, one replica with config set computate. Good. That looks like everything went well. So I come back over here, refresh the page, look at my configs, and sure enough, there is my config set with all the files, including the powerful managed schema here with all the fields that I love. Um, so that's exciting, especially these wildcard fields. They're my favorite. 
stock values. So that's good. Let's check on collections. We do have a Smart Avair Smart Village collection. Isn't that cool? And if I go here and I query it and execute query, boom, it's good. And this collection will persist between restarting the pods, which is actually an improvement I, I made from the last video where the, the storage was ephemeral and disappeared if the pod was deleted, which is a problem. So I got it working with a persistent volume claim so that this data stays around. So I hope that was helpful. We're going to continue building data-driven applications with analytics and dashboards and searchable APIs. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.